Hi guys, I'm Liam Martin. Welcome to this brand new channel, as yet unnamed. Uh, in this introduction, I kind of wanted to introduce the channel and let you guys know what to expect over the coming months at least and kind of what content's going to be uh, on the channel. A uh, bit of background about myself first. My name's Liam Martin. I'm a product design graduate and now part-time lecturer from Nottingham Trent University. Um, for my teaching role, the predominant thing that I do is teach uh, first year product and furniture design students CAD. Okay, so the big part of that is introducing them to SolidWorks 3D modeling software. And there's other little program bits, um, which mainly include rendering software as this sort of secondary teaching. Uh, and that's where I really um, specialize in the software. Um, so our rendering software that we use at NTU and what I've used on my own for about 15 months is Keyshot. So in that time, I've basically been self-taught. I think I only got around three hours tuition on Keyshot uh, while I was at university. Um, so I've done a lot of it on my own, but um, wouldn't say I'm a specialist, but definitely know more than uh, average design students. And that's where this channel comes in. So I've realized that uh, design students really want to get into rendering because it's almost like a glamorous side of design, I think. Um, it's a great way of promoting yourself as well. Um, but there's not a huge amount of content on YouTube for Keyshot. Um, there's definitely enough to be able to teach yourself. Um, but some of the more specialist stuff, there's not a huge amount out there. And personally on our syllabus, at the moment we don't do a huge amount of rendering at our university, though I'm sure that will increase um, at universities generally, um, now that there's really easy software available to do it, particularly um, and notably is, is Keyshot. Okay, so starting on that point is um, what I think and how I think rendering should be used. So as product designers and probably the majority of people watching this will be product designers as opposed to 3D artists. Um, your time needs to be spent designing, well, specifically uh, doing the design process. So that might go from uh, researching uh, concepts, development, final, and then prototyping. And I suppose rendering can come in alongside prototyping, but generally as product designers, you need to be working out how to make this product better and then how to produce this product efficiently. Um, so I don't want people to spend too much time rendering. And that's where programs like Keyshot come in. So I found that Keyshot is insanely user-friendly. Um, it's sort of like an iOS um, for the rendering world, particularly when you compare that to programs such as, uh, we use uh, 3ds Max and V-Ray on the flip side, which is immensely complicated and is definitely a better software, but for a design student, you must have to spend a lot more time on that getting to grips with it. Hence why I'm going to be doing Keyshot tutorials on this channel. Okay, so um, I've also, uh, you'll see in the background, the big white box behind me, just built a computer that I'm not going to say specifically for rendering, but it's definitely got rendering in its mind. So I could do a little, um, a little video on that just to introduce what I'm going to be using and what's a good way to go forward. But um, this computer is going to help me to make rendering tutorials. Uh, to put them out on YouTube. And again, that's just gonna be so I can give perhaps my students a little bit more support when I'm at home, uh, definitely connect more with the rendering community. Um, generally, I'm gonna funnel people to the channel from Instagram. So for those who've come here from Instagram, you probably know me um, at LD Martin is my Instagram handle. Um, in recent months, I've been doing a lot of work on the hashtag render weekly competition. So again, some of you might have seen my work and not necessarily know it's me. Um, I'll put some posts on screen now. Um, and that's really driven me towards doing these tutorials. So that's given me a bit of motivation. And I've had a lot of good feedback on there, which has kind of perked me up a little bit and made me realize that people want to see what I do and also people appreciate what I do. So that's what we're going to look at in the on this channel and there's definitely going to be sort of a bit of a bridge between um, those Instagram submissions and the renders that you'll see every day on Instagram and the videos that you'll see on YouTube. So 
please hit the subscribe button. Uh, the first video will be up alongside this, which is going to be a floating dust in Keyshot tutorial, which is a, a really nice little way to make your renders a little bit better. Um, as I said, hit the subscribe button, wait for more videos. I'll promise to put out more videos in the future and over the coming months at least. Uh, hit the like button and get in the comments and let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, it's an experiment for all of us. Um, I'm trying out new things. So if there's anything you'd like to know how to do on Keyshot, I'll definitely look into doing videos. For now, I'll see you in the next video. Please go and give it a watch. Cheers.